Hey guys, what's up? Lightbolt Joe here. Today we're going to discuss the 2014 animated feature film, The Lego Movie, written and directed by Phil Lord and Chris Miller. They are an amazing, amazing theatrical duo. They did 2009's Clyde with the Chelsea Meatball, Meatballs. They did um, 2012 and 2014's 21 Jump Street and 22 Jump Street. These, these, these two dudes, these two bros are so talented when it comes to storytelling. It's ridiculous how amazing that these guys are when it comes to film. So when they announced that they were making a Lego movie, everyone's a little, not everyone, excuse me, some people were concerned at first because this is when they were doing a lot of announcements of games into games or toys were becoming movies. So Transformers was a very successful franchise that started in 07. So then we had Battleship, which didn't really do that well. What else? Other games or toys? I, I'm, there was never a Nerf movie yet. There was never a Hot Wheels movie. But that's still coming. I'm, I'm forgetting a bunch of stuff, but that's my point. Like, these things were so bad that, or didn't do well box office wise, that people were like, why? Why are they going to... Some people were like, oh, why are they doing a Lego movie? Like, how the, how are you going to make a story about Legos? But I've been a Lego collector and builder since, oh, God, the early 90s. Massive fan of, of the company as itself. I've never been to a Lego land, personally, but have always, always visited my local Lego shop. I'm a VIP member. I get my double points. I'm my favorite 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 line of legos is the 2012 set of monster fighters they did one set and then they did a second follow-up set within the 2012 2013 time period and then they stopped making them and then they went to these alien fighter things and i'm like why why would you do that why you could have made so many so many sets. they could have been a franchise thing because this is when ninjago was first coming out ninjago was what 07 08 something like that so it, it was just like a one-off but then like it was popular so then they made tv shows and then they kept doing other things and like etc and i was like oh this monster fighters has that capability of becoming a french a lego franchise but they didn't do it and i'm like no but I have all my beautiful Monster Fighter Legos. All of the Monster Fighter Lego sets I have. We're talking down to the minuscule keychains and the watches and the alarm clocks, books, Monster Fighter. I have a, 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 I have a shirt, a Monster Fighters Lego Monster Fighters club member shirt. I even went down to getting a Lego catalog from 2012 with the haunted house right on the front cover. Like I am deep in this obsession of lego monster fighters i need this to come back in tenfold and i need it to be a feature film because i know they can do it because of how the lego movie and then four follow-up spin-offs have gone on okay so let's now get back to the film the film came out in 2014 high hopes did not know how it was going to be and then when the first trailer came out in 2013 i was like oh this makes sense it follows Emmett. he's a construction worker you have will ferrell uh his character as this you know Lord businessman and he's out to like craggle everyone which is super glue and like he just wants a perfect world and as the story goes on we see it's a live action film of Will Ferrell being a father of this kid who is in control of Emmett and how Emmett wants to stop the craggle and the kid wants to stop the craggle because nothing is perfect and everything's supposed to be chaotic and mismatched because that's how we learn and grow and everyone is United as one, and Brickburg is this whole thing, and you have these different cities, and it's it's an amazing, amazing, amazingly well done live action to CGI to live action to actual brick built models. It, it, it's 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 so poetic, it's so gorgeously crafted, and going into the story as a whole that everyone is special. That that's the purpose. That Morgan Freeman's character of Morbius, not Morbius, um, Morbius, not Morbius. Oh God, I'm forgetting his name. Grand Wizard that he is, to be a master builder, the master builder that he is, holding the lollipop stick. Um, which, by the way, 
the 2014 Lego sets from the Lego movie that had that Morgan Freeman character holding that lollipop stick. That lollipop brick is actually the same exact mold and clarity, plastic-wise, as the Moonstones in the 2012 Monster Fighter set. Now, you need to be a Lego fan in order to pick up on those little things, and of course me and other Lego fans, hardcore Lego fans, notice that. And we're like, oh, we missed Monster Fighters. Man, maybe this is a sign that they're bringing it back, and here we are six years later. I'm sorry, four years later from the 2014 Lego movie, and there's still no Monster Fighter sets. But, so help me, they will be glorious Monster Fighter sets, and there will be Monster Fighter sets in space, and can't wait. I, I see it. I see it all. I'm going to write the stories for them. It's, it's going to be glorious. I'm telling you, it's going to be glorious. This film was perfect and awesome. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Everything is awesome. That's, that's enough singing for me today. So when the film broke bro box office records, they had announced that there was going to be a Lego Batman movie, that there was going to be a Lego Ninjago movie, and then a sequel, the Lego Movie 2, Part 2, was going to be made. And I was thinking, I was first, I was like, why would they put two spinoff films before the sequel? And then upon watching the spinoff films, which we'll talk about, I was like, oh, I get it. Because they're perfect. They're all perfect. There's nothing wrong with these films. Amazing! Now, why I'm so jazzed about it is because I'm a Lego fan, obviously. But also, this is the greatest film for collectors of film memorabilia. And why I say that is when someone wants a prop replica, like let's say they want a blaster from Jurassic World, a park, or, or, or a, a lightsaber from Star Wars, right? You either get a licensed prop replica or you spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to get the actual prop that was used on the screen. Now, the Lego movies, plural, are the perfect films for these collectors, i.e. me, because it's bricks. It's Lego bricks. It's Lego minifigures. It's, it's the, it's, that is the perfect prop replica because it was the same exact props from the film. Lego mini Emmett, voiced by Chris Pratt, in the film is the same as in the box that you get. Amazing amazing genius that's why warner brothers is so creative when it comes to genius when it comes to the lego franchise because the toy industry alone on lego is billions of dollars mixed in with these multi-successful films which then spun off a unikitty tv show genius the books alone genius i i'm so impressed with this franchise and you should be too what are your thoughts on 2014's phil lord and chris miller's the Lego movie. I'm, I'm, I'm still speechless. Despite having talked for however many minutes I have talked for. Speechless. <laughs> With Jamal, guys. Okay.